Good morning. It's about 30 minutes until sunrise, I think. It's 5.30. So if I hurry up and get packed up, maybe I can be walking by the time the sun is rising. <laughs> I walked off of the mountain at sunrise. Yes! Yay! Oh my gosh. Uh, wow. I think down in that saddle, down in those trees is where all those people were camped. I came along way last night. Okay. So, I only have um, 2.5 miles to the top, or to the next top, <laughs> uh, but I don't know where the trail goes now, so I need to walk, because it might be straight along this ridge. I hope it is, because that's awesome. So... For this morning. Oh yeah, I see a post. Should be like two and a half miles of ridge top walking. So it does stick down a little. I'm not sure how much. But I mean the condition's gonna be better. Listen to that. You don't even hear that much wind. Normally as soon as I get up high, it's like whoosh. mountains, not clouds. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so it looks like the trail goes there, and then there, and then there. Oh, crazy. I actually don't know if it goes to that second one or if it goes all the way to the top of either of them. I'll let you know when I'm up there, but it does get high. <laughs> And I do definitely ride this ridge, <laughs> as I have been doing for a little bit. Yeah, so I slept pretty well last night. I, no signs of altitude sickness. Yes! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so I had two packets of electrolyte mix in my water bottle yesterday, and technically like three sticks of coffee. <laughs> Uh, I've instant coffee in my um, <clears throat> 16 ounce, my small 14 ounce bottle in the morning. And I was drinking water, I have been drinking water, and I did all that altitude adjusting in, in Leadville. And, and I brought more food that isn't like protein bars. <laughs> and full protein, because like, I don't know, for some reason I just have not wanted to eat the protein bars. Um, especially if they don't have sugar. So the Gatorade bars have a lot of sugar and 20 grams of protein. Um, and so I had one of those maybe on this stretch, but between those and complete cookies, I brought one per day and I only had one, I think. Um, no complete cookies. But like this morning, I just had a couple um, of these tiny muffins that have my cream cheese in them. <laughs> I just bought like a packet and I put them in a Ziploc. They're tiny ones. Those are nice because I can choose the portion size. Um, and then also croissants for lunch because those are also calorie packed and also like closer to real food. They are real food. <laughs> so, and then last night I had instant potatoes. So yeah, I think I, I want my body to want certain things out here and it just doesn't and so I do think I oh but it also really likes chips <laughs> I really like chips uh, going down this like steep bald 
you get there. Whew. Um, yeah, I really like chips and it feels like the saltiness in the chips is really good. So I mixed some like, uh, ruffles or something with those like snap peas chips, um, that are just like inflated peas <laughs> dehydrated. I don't know what they are. Uh, but yeah, put those in a big old bag and I ate a lot of those so far. So yeah, just trying to listen to my body more and I do want to, I'm trying to be cognizant too of the sugar intake, but also it's like, you know, I'm outputting a lot of energy right now and it's not like I'm having zero sugar in normal life. So uh, yeah, so anyways, that's my little morning blurb update about altitude sickness and my body feel, how's my body feeling? Like, can't even believe I made it uh, almost 27 miles yesterday. Like by 22, I was, oops, get, starting to feel tired. You know, my feet were, my feet weren't feeling super, they were just feeling tired. And then somehow I just, I just kept going and, and by the end I felt really good. So I feel really thankful for that because those first few days in Wyoming and then in Colorado were rough. Wow, look at this view. really starting to cross that ridge. Whew. Onward. It looks really nerve wracking right there at the end of the ridge where you can see. It's like, okay, how do I get down and keep going? But I think it's kind of a gradual slope to the next side. Okay, one mile, 26 minutes. Begins. I think I'm headed to that one. Okay, I've only gone 0.14 and I've already had to stop like eight times. I... Whew. Yeah, there's the next Karen her post and then the other ones are at the top of that guy. Okay, let's get there. And then it goes this way. Okay, I made it to the next post. Now up to that post and then up to that little house. I need to get to two and a half total. So, why isn't it focusing? There we go. Oh, it's almost there ish. Views from 0.35 up the climb. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Definitely not enough air up here. 2.06 up this climb, had a 2.5, so getting there. I usually 
I've been stopping right before. It feels like absolutely impossible. Just before. And then I'll let myself breathe until I feel ready and strong. But right when I stop, it feels like, oh my God, this is too hard. I can't breathe. But just taking a break. It doesn't matter how long it takes to get up as long as I'm safe and I don't make myself pass out by pushing too hard. So that's where I'm at right now. Enjoying how beautiful it is. Okay, it's just right there. So close, right? Wrong. It'll still probably take me like 30 minutes because it's so hard. So high. Way higher than when I camped. Okay, I'm officially higher than that knob, which looks really high from below. This is almost within reach. Oh boy. I see a couple more hikers down there. I wouldn't be surprised if they catch me before I get to the top. Hi. <laughs> okay. made it up. This is the shelter that's up here on the lookout. And there's like some really great rock to sit on in the warm sun. There were two hikers up here. They just headed out. They passed my tent this morning while I was packing up. <sighs> yeah, I I'm so glad to be up here. It took forever. <laughs> At least it felt like it, but I made it, so that's good. Oh, here's my view. It gets really good around this corner. I'll show you that later. <laughs> These are the little mini muffin things I brought. They're tiny. They're yummy. Saved one for up here. Mmm. Mm. Wow. This is crazy. Okay, so headed back down. I wasn't up here too long, but I called my best friend Sarah because I had enough um, <clears throat> service for video chat. So it was a really fun place to video chat because she was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So she got me all hyped even more than the news. I got even hyped. So it's steep down, I have like four and a half miles to the pass. So hopefully you make it. I love bridge walking like this. It's a little bucky, steep. Oh. I just take way too many videos when I'm up high. <laughs> oh. I think that's part of what started this whole channel. Okay, it actually looks steep from this angle. 
So all the other angles didn't look too steep, but it was steep. Get, and it was from like way down there, actually. Okay, what the heck? Is that my trail? Because that looks too close to like the edge of this mountain. Like, how am I gonna get down there? I mean, the elevation uh, profile looked just as steep going down as it was going up. So far, at least there's like switchbacks on this side. The other side did not have any switchbacks. Um, but yeah. It looks like I'll switch back down to like there, which just seems crazy. Or maybe there. Oh, okay. I don't know actually. Oh, look. Tiny people. Can you see them? They were. Let's see. There they are. Right there. They were on top of the mountain when I got there. Amazing how much faster going down is. That is if, if your knees and joints are all right, but already done. Three point nine. Okay, it's been 4.15 miles total, so I've been coming down for a little bit, but I decided to take a break because I really want some chips right now, so I'm just going to listen to my body, and then there's some hikers right behind me, and I don't really like them, so I'm going to let them get ahead uh, so I don't feel like there's someone on my tail. They're really nice. They seem nice, but just feel more like being alone, so I'm going to eat and hang out. That should be enough time to let them get ahead. Okay, still making my way down. I was up there. I went along that ridge. <laughs> and winding down the mountain I was on as well, out of view. I'm getting warm. The sun is starting to feel really hot on my face. So I should have de-layered both layers, but I did it because I thought that sometimes when I'm descending, I still get really cold. But the sun's just like, boom, not cold at all. <laughs> okay, that's Willow Creek Pass for sure. So I'm just steps away. Almost the pass. It's been a nice easy morning. Well, <laughs> besides the mile that was exceptionally hard. But the down has been totally fine. It's a nice breeze. Look at this fancy sign. And this one. And division. Which way? Hmm. Let's check. Yay! I made it! Whoa. Wow. Okay. This is where I hitched from. And oh, my car's not here. <laughs> it's like, it's down here. So now I just need to. My footsteps are definitely connected because I walked like over there, I walked across. So I just need to get over there. When I come back, oh my gosh, I was up there literally this morning. <sighs> Amazing. Yay. 
Okay, I made it back to my car, going into town for a breakfast burrito. Unsure if I'm getting back on trail today or if I'm going to find a cheap motel and take a shower. Uh, it's probably been five or six days, so we'll see. Well, they were all at breakfast burritos, but a sandwich will do. Okay, I just checked into a very bougie little, I thought it was a motel, it's like the inn at Silver Creek. I mean, it looked pretty nice online, but then the prices were the same as like a normal motel. So, I mean, not super cheap because nothing is super cheap right now, but I think it's just the off season. So, anyways, I am in a little super bougie neighborhood and I'm checking in because I decided to stay the night so I can edit, recoup, and kind of just lean into, hmm, maybe this part of through hiking can be easy. I don't have to rush to get it done as fast as I possibly can. Cause that's kind of always my mindset. So I'm just trying to rewire, rewire like, oh, actually maybe I can just, you know, hike seven miles today and then come into town and enjoy the day. Maybe that's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, gonna do lots of editing, get checked in. I think I'm gonna shower and then go to the pool. Oh, the pool looks really nice, so yay! Okay, maybe not as bougie as it appears from the outside, but very nice. Okay, so the other thing is I got laundry already. The laundry machines are in use right now. So I'm going to take a shower first, also so I could wash the clothes on my body. And then I figured this is a huge bed, so half of it can be gear stuff. There's some clean clothes. And then just like figuring out my electronic stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the laundry near my room has been full. So then I have been, I don't know, I went through this whole hassle and I walked way down to the other side and thank goodness, look, all of them are open. Okay, 37 minutes. Let's go to the pool. Oh, okay, I am all cozy in this hotel room bed and it was not a very successful town day. I mean, partially, but the internet here is so slow. I wasn't able to upload any videos. I edited one all the way and it's like, it says it's gonna take 12 hours to upload. Usually when that's the case, it will like not actually upload after that much time. I'm gonna try to get that to upload at a cafe in the morning. And kind of go from there. I think it would be really nice if like ideally I would have just really big trail days because those are the days I like the most where I can push big miles and it's not so that I'm not taking in views or enjoying it but just that just feels the most fulfilling. Um, and so yeah if I can figure out how to do that I have, like, I think that that would be ideal. I got, I did get laundry done and I got, I took like three showers, <laughs> but sometimes that's just for temperature control. Like if I get really cold, then I like to take a hot shower. Um, but yeah, that was my little evening ramble. I'm going to try to fall asleep now and hope that I have some divine inspiration for what to do about my videos that aren't uploading fast enough. I think it's also because this one is long, longer than my other ones, so 
uh, it takes longer to upload when they're longer. So that's sometimes why I do like part one, part two, because it just uploads faster. So maybe I'll just do that. I could cut it into two videos and then both of them will upload before one would even upload, which is crazy, but yeah. So, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Come